Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be answering the question why does hypercalcemia occur in multiple myeloma? Before we get into the details of it, I'd first like you to learn what is multiple myeloma and what's hypercalcemia and then we will see the link between the two. Multiple myeloma by definition is a malignant proliferation of plasma cells that produce abnormal immunoglobulins. In simpler terms, it is a cancer of a particular type of blood cells known as the plasma cells. Now let me explain this to you. You see all the blood cells originate from a progenitor cell known as the hematopoietic stem cell which is present in the bone marrow. These hematopoietic stem cells produce the myeloid and the lymphoid progenitor cells. The lymphoid progenitor cells in turn give rise to the T and the B lymphocytes. The B lymphocytes when they get in contact with a foreign body. Then the antigen of the foreign body gets in contact with the B lymphocyte and then the B lymphocyte gets activated due to the exposure with the antigen and then they produce the plasma cells. These plasma cells produce immunoglobulins and these immunoglobulins are the antibodies that help fight off the invading foreign body or the antigen. Normally the plasma cells produce normal immunoglobulins that can effectively fight off the foreign body. Whereas in multiple myeloma, the plasma cells produce abnormal immunoglobulins that do not effectively fight off the antigens. And also there is a malignant proliferation of the plasma cells. That is there is an increase in the number of the plasma cells. And these plasma cells in turn produce abnormal immunoglobulins. So in simple terms, multiple myeloma is a cancer of plasma cells that produce abnormal immunoglobulins. And hypercalcemia, as the term itself implies, is an increase in serum calcium levels. Now that we know what these two terms mean, let's understand why hypercalcemia occurs in multiple myeloma. In multiple myeloma, the malignant plasma cells release cytokines which stimulate the osteoclasts and inhibit the osteoblasts. Now, in simple terms, osteoclasts are nothing but the bone destroying cells and the osteoblasts are the bone forming cells. As there is an increase in the stimulation of the bone destroying cells or the osteoclasts, it leads to a net bone resorption. Bone resorption is nothing but the process by which the osteoclasts break down the bone tissue and release the minerals from the bone. We all know that the major mineral forming the bone structure is calcium. So when the bone is broken down, that is when the bone tissue is broken down, and the minerals are released, there is major release of calcium from the bones to the circulation, which is seen as an increase in the blood calcium level or increase in the serum calcium level, which is 
nothing but hypercalcemia. Now this explains why hypercalcemia is seen in multiple myeloma. It's because the malignant plasma cells release cytokines which have a net effect on stimulating osteoclastic activity which leads to bone resorption leading to release of minerals from the bone mainly calcium leading to hypercalcemia. The molecular basis of this cytokine induced osteolysis or breakdown of bone tissue has been studied in multiple myeloma and it has been found to be due to the activity of the cytokine parathyroid hormone related peptide and the interaction between the rank molecule present in osteoclast and its ligand which is present in the osteoblast. If you like the video, click the thumbs up, share it, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell notification so that you can get updates whenever I post a new video. Until then, happy learning!